Hello everyone, today's video we're going to talk about the hermit fight for the people that are attempting it. I know a lot of you guys are struggling so I'm here to help you out on how to improve and how to get better for this raid boss of a fight because it really is a raid boss for most of you guys having to toss out four fleets and still can't beat her. She's rough. She's really really rough. Don't get me wrong. So I'm here to help you guys out. The first thing I want everyone to do is make sure you have the adaptability for this. And if you guys don't know what the adaptability to cap is, it is 205 for offense, 205 in survivability, and 156 for tactics. If you guys don't already know, the adaptability for Hermit is 156 across the board. So it is nerfed compared to the beta. Initially, it was 180, 180, 180. So it would have been... 234 234 to 180 but because they we got we got the nerfed version of it for the uh for this or whatever well i think everyone got it it's not 180 so they turned it down uh it's gonna be 205 205 and 156 is what you need for stats right here so make sure you have that otherwise you're gonna be playing at not maxed a uh, debuffed and it's gonna hurt a lot if you guys don't think she hurts enough already well try without no adaptability and you'll probably get blown out of the waters in like less than a second not even kidding you, less than a second. So, recommended ships level here is going to be 125. If you guys want to attempt this at all, make sure you have 125 ships. They're gonna, there can be some exceptions, like some buffers or whatever can be 120. Like for example, in my previous video, I had Kashino at 120 right here. It is fine, um, but if your, <clears throat> your damage dealer ships have to be 125. Otherwise, you're not going to have the damage there. So make sure your damage dealers are 125. Some buffers can be 120, but make sure your heavy damage dealers like my BBs and Shimakaze here are 125. Otherwise, you're going to miss a lot, and the damage isn't going to be super high there. Next, we're going to talk about recommended ships here. So the recommended ships here are going to be carriers. If you guys want any sanity doing this fight, bring carriers. Don't bring anything else bring carriers the reason why is because this right here we're gonna talk about the tags so in the normal difficulty this right here is reverse healing it's not that big of a deal right reverse healing is kind of whatever you don't have to heal for this fight it's just straight up just do damage and whatnot and you're good to go but in hard we have shelling damage reduced to one 50 percent chance under 30 percent health don't bring BBs. It's going to be suffering. If you guys don't see my posts already in the YouTube communities, it is suffering. You do no damage to this boss fight if you bring battleships. It is insufferable. It is terrible. You're going to gamble a lot with RNG because of misses and whatnot. Don't do it. Don't do it. And some of you guys in the game think the zombie tag is the worst one. When, when, the, when the siren boss or whatever is under 30% health, they're going to start healing for like 25% health or something or 20% health. Some people some people think that's the worst tag in the game. No, it is not the worst tag in the game. This right here is the worst tag in the game. I've been saying this for almost a year now since OS first came out. This tag right here is the worst. After the enemy flagship enters the battle, it will gain 10% to all stats every 10 seconds up to a maximum of 5 stacks. That is 50% more bonus stats add on top of what they have if you guys think oh that's just damage chemo they're just gonna hit harder not just that evasion their evasion is 50 percent higher than what it would be after 50 seconds and their hit rate is also 50 percent higher compared to what it would be 50 seconds later she's already 130 guys if you're playing with 125 fleets that's a five level discrepancy honestly this tag right here Gives the illusion that this Arbiter, the Hermit, is not 130. She's somewhere much, much higher. After 50 seconds, it feels like a 135 fight, if not 140 fight. It is rough. It is brutal. This buff right here, it turns all your evasion gear to nonsense after 50 seconds. It makes you miss everything. It is bad. It is bad, bad, bad. This, this tag right here on top of 130, it is rough. Not to mention, the enemy flagship deals 50% more damage to your main fleet. So you have 50% here, 50% here. Your backline is going to get shredded. And your frontline is already getting shredded too. So both sides are just taking a world of hurt from this boss. It is rough. 
It is rough, 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 rough. So be very careful about that. So recommended ships here are going to be carriers. Bring as many carriers as you guys have and make sure they're properly equipped with torpedo bombers. Torpedo bombers are the king here. Torpedo bombers are going to be your biggest damage dealers for this fight. Bring a lot of them. Uh, either bring junkers or bring Ryusei's, whichever you guys want. Bring torpedo bombers, converging ones. So either Ryusei's, uh, the um, the uh, junkers, or those PR4 ones if you guys have them. Bring whatever you guys want. Bring whatever you need. Bring converging torpedo bombers. After that, bring some good dive bombers because even though dive bombers don't do a lot of damage, they will contribute at least something when you're doing all your air strikes and whatnot. It's going to help out a lot. Trust me, guys. You want those torpedo bombers and you want those dive bombers. And fighters here are not helpful. Try to avoid them unless that carrier has a fighter slot. If that's the case, bring whatever DPS um, DPS fighter you have. Um, sea Hornets or whatever. I don't think the AP Rockets are planes from PR4 are that good here. So bring Sea Hornets. Bring, uh, bring whatever fighters you have that are durable and does some kind of damage even though it's not a lot. Bring something useful here. Carriers are king here. Now, if you guys are masochists, if you guys want to bring battleships here, bring your best AP guns available. Make the ones that you got from the PR shop, whatever, that I talked about in the two videos ago. Make some of these if you guys have to. Make sure you have hit accuracy. Hit is very important here. Stack bofers are king here. Bring bring this. It's 10. It's something, right? And... If you guys are using 457s, using a fast gun, I recommend just sticking to double shells here. Some people are gonna say that, oh, chemo, just bring the, uh, just bring the, uh, the higher standard performance control radar. You can. It is 36 hit. It is pretty high. But I'm gonna tell you right now, even with this right here, after the hermit gets like three, four stacks of her purple buff, it won't matter. You're gonna do zero damage regardless most of the time. So just. Do whatever you want to. I prefer the shells right here. It's up to you guys, though. I prefer shells. Now, if you're using like slower guns, like the uh, champagne gun or whatever, go ahead and toss in those gold fire control radars because it's you're already slow from just how much the reload is from this gun. So go ahead and do that, and hopefully you won't miss a lot. I'll say that much. Now, as for Vanguard builders... All right, guys, tanks are back in game. We're back to tank meta again. So tanks here are very important. Your large cruisers, E-Girl, Ozuma are good here. Anchorage, also those uh, heavy cruisers are well too. Very good here. You're going to take a beating from the Hermit. So tank vanguards are very, very good here. Now, how you want to build them? This is the standard way. Throw some invasion gear. If they're low health, pull toss in like a repair tool kit. Get some good anti-air, some torpedoes or whatever, if it's a torpedo boat, otherwise whatever DD gun you have. And make sure you're running an AP gun, because she has heavy armor. Next, buffers. Buffers are also king here, because your vanguard won't be doing any damage unless they're torpedoers, which I'll talk about after this. So, buffers here, like Helena and Kashino. You want to make sure these girls are equipped with, like, survivability. Now, right here, I have the usual setup for Helena, so... That's that. Um, but if you're using like another buffer, like for example, I'm using Kashino here, make sure you equip her with a lot of health and just good gear all around. If it's a very paper buffer, like Kashino's light armor, I put her on the back side, make sure she has Pearls tier. Pearls tier, when that ship sinks, it heals all other ships for 10% of their max HP for, for uh, whoever's equipping it. So in this case, Kashino here will offer about um, 5,000 ish health or whatever, maybe 6,000. I'm not sure if it applies to this, whatever, but whatever. Um, make sure you, you use that, it's gonna help out a lot. And for torpedo wars, they're gonna be your only damage dealers for this fight. No other ships for vanguards except torpedo wars are gonna do damage for this fight. I'm gonna tell you right now, it doesn't matter how quick, how well equipped your Drake is or your E-Girl, or your Azuma, it, or your Light Cruisers, it doesn't matter. They're not going to do a lot of damage here. At best, probably 50,000, 60,000 damage, which is not a lot, because the Hermit has 1.4, 1.5 million damage total that you have to do. So that's not going to do much at all. 
but torpedo words are going to be really really good here i'm using shimakaze here there's many torpedo words you can use udachi you can use like kazuguma to buff your carriers or whatever i'm using it in my uh carrier fleet kazuguma they're going to be very good here so torpedo words are king here but i will say this if you're autoing they're very paper so if you're going to torpedo manual it up and dodge for love and god just dodge because the moment anything hits your dds they're going to take so much damage any big nukes or whatever they're going to take so much damage it's avoid that it's going to hurt next we're going to talk about normal and hard difficulty so the difference between normal and hard difficulty is very simple in normal difficulty this tag here if i were to show you guys right here the first tag is going to be reverse healing so basically if you bring like perseus unicorn or whatever that heals a ship that heals your ship it heals the enemy so don't bring healers there and that's that and hard difficulty we have reduced shelling so thir under 30 percent health 50 percent chance to reduce shelling damage to one which is bad because under 30% health, if you're using battleships combined with this tag right here, it's either going to be a miss or it's going to be a one. And it's not going to be fun at all. It is really bad under 30% if you're using full battleships. So that's the difference. Hermit on hard is way, way, way harder than Hermit on normal. I'm going to tell you guys that much. And uh, in normal difficulty, the hermit damage you do you guys do to it is permanent damage so even if you wipe on all four fleets if you did like 70 percent health it stays 40 70 percent health until you restock heal up come back in and finish off that last 30 percent it will stay there but on hard difficulty the damage is permanent but only within the four fleets you bring so if these four fleets right here cannot defeat hermit on hard difficulty you wipe and she fully heals back up all the damage that you dealt to it so be very careful when you're going to hard because it is really really tough if you are not prepared for it normal it's it is difficult we get unlimited try so it's not a big deal but for hermit hard you get four attempts one for each fleet so be very careful so for strategy here again use carriers guys don't bring battleships to this fight it is bad trust me it is bad. I had a video yesterday where I did two fleets full auto. Guess how many attempts that took? A lot of attempts. And it took me a long time to get that done too, like 45 minutes. Don't bring battleships. Bring as many carriers as you guys can. Bring carriers, bring carriers, bring carriers. I'm not going to say any more. Bring carriers. So that's the first thing. The second thing here are going to be torpedoes. At that, about the second phase of the Hermit fight, she's going to summon three torpedoes that hits the water. You can see like the arrows coming in. Do not stand in that. I think it's obvious for people to not stand in that if you're playing on manual. Do not stand there. If you stand there, you're going to get hit by a big nuke. And it hits hard. It hits about 1,200 damage. Give or take. That's about half of DD's health. To put in perspective. That's about one-fourth of a heavy cruiser's health right there as well too. Do not get hit by that. It's going to hurt a lot. Avoid that as much as possible. Next, this fight on hard is very difficult. Reset if you guys get unlucky. Because the purple tag and the shelling thing makes this fight super RNG. As you guys saw yesterday, I had a video where Georgia out DPS, FDG, and New Jersey. That was a rare clip, guys. Most of the time, it was New Jersey or FDG getting MVP. That was a once-in-a-lifetime clip right there where Georgia out dps both of them because I was missing all my shells on them. It is an extremely RNG fight with this purple talent and this shelling damage right here. So if you guys get some bad damage output, just reset the fight. Whether it's bad procs from Helena not doing anything or you're missing all your shells, you're missing some airstrikes. If you guys have to, just reset the fight. It, it It's not worth it. Just don't bother with it. Just... Oh, I, I did poorly here. Let's just leave, leave the fight and just go back in. Simple. And lastly, do not underestimate her damage. She hits hard. She is probably the hardest hitting boss in the game right now. Almost EX tier of damage. Almost. It is brutal. She hits super damn hard. It is insane. Whether it's backline or vanguards, doesn't matter. It She hits hard. 
do not underestimate her damage. Dodge everything in your power. Just do not get hit at all, especially the missiles. Don't get hit by those. It hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. And lastly, my tip for you guys is if you're stuck, you wiped, you can't beat this boss. Some of you guys are talking about how to leave here. It's very simple. This button right here in big, bold letters, exit. I wonder what this could mean. Oh my God. I just left the map and I just finished this video too. Good luck guys.